Yo, what's up guys? All right, so I made it back to the room. Yo, today is not, to not, not, today is not, not my day. I just lost my off. Driving through the night Looking for you I'm looking for you And it goes up and down And it goes round and round Like a roller coaster Yo, what's up guys? It's El Jefe What's up guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog because I had a great time at HIN and if you haven't seen the last vlog, go to click somewhere up there and you can ch check out the last vlog and then check out this vlog or you check out this vlog first and you can check out the last vlog or you just, you do what you want. I don't know. I don't know. What's up, Alec? You're always in here, you don't even say hi. Like, doesn't, doesn't say hi to you guys. Like, it's rude. Are you, are you still tired today? Not really. Oh, uh, he's in a better mood, guys. He's in a better mood. Like, oh, smash the black button because he's in a better mood now. He's smiling now. Yo, so right now we're about to head up to 420 Raps. Got my boy Les behind me. Alec, of course, is always riding with me. And um, we're going to go up there to sign some paperwork. He's got some cool news. I'll be working with them. And um, yeah, we got some good stuff coming. And then after that, I'm going to go. They already had breakfast without me. They're just, they're horrible friends. Like, I really need new friends because they're just horrible. Okay, so you were ready and when we got there, right? I was definitely ready <laughs> waiting for them. They are like, no, don't go to breakfast with us. We don't want you to go. I was like, wow, okay, that's pretty messed that's exactly up. exactly what happened. Yeah, horrible friends. And I'm gonna go grab some lunch or something like that. I'm hungry. And then we're gonna go to Howie's because we got some free hours from last week um, and go play some games and just have a good time. Which I'm just contemplating just buying an Xbox One because I've already spent like maybe almost 100 bucks there. And that's already a quarter of it's Xbox. Not the same, it's not the same. It's not the same, but it saves money. Like, see, I'm trying to I'm trying to save money right now. My friends are just being horrible. Just got the 420 wraps right now. Yo, it is so hot today. It's like 90 something degrees. I'm like sweating. <laughs> <laughs> said, show, show, show again, Les. Show again. Check that got, out. Got that old watermark on his back. Back. Yo. Driver back. Yo. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking hot. So let's get into 420 raps. <laughs> Stuff I'm looking at with his and yours and this and I, you are the guy, right? You know, I think the universe, the stars align for me to meet you. Today. <laughs> okay. Well, and, uh, and just but just so you know, also you know, he and I were pretty much together all the time. We hit all the car meets together, mm -hmm. all the shows, all the stuff. Uh, I didn't do hot import nights because I didn't have some some things I wanted to have done to the car before right. that. So we're here still talking some business over at 420 Raps with my boy Les trying to come up with the design to do his Challenger, his 392, and it's looking pretty good right now. Like I said before, let me walk over here. So like I said before, I have opportunity to work with 420 Raps because I am American Muscle, I'm domestic, and I do have you know followers, I do have my YouTube channel, and um, yeah, thank God that you know I do have that stuff because that allows me to get you know sponsorships and you know offer more something that, offer more than some people can offer. Not saying I'm better than anyone. I'm just saying that I built this so I can you know get help because this stuff is expensive. It's not easy. It's not free. You know, so I'm super happy, super stoked that they gave me this opportunity. So. In the next couple of vlogs, or maybe at the end of this vlog, I'm gonna find out what the percentage is all my followers, all my friends get, and then hopefully it's gonna be a couple hundred bucks. And I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be dope. You see how they wrap my car, and I'm going to be honest about the wrap. They didn't mess up at all. They took their time with this. They did this and took their time with it before HIN, and I came out, and I, they came out, and I loved it. So I'm super stoked that I get to work with someone like this, that I support their product, and that I agree how they work. Like, literally, I didn't tell them how to wrap my car, or how to do my car or what colors I wanted. They just took my car and they did it and I loved it. And that's very rare. I keep on saying it over and over like a broken record. I am picky, so picky about my car. And they killed it. So we're gonna tell you right now, Les is the one talking right now, but I'm gonna talk more business with them when we're done. And then we're going to get some food. So I'm freaking starving. It's the body line. And then we figure out what we're gonna go with <laughs> from there. Yeah, because if you look at the charger here, the older chargers have that, that slice in. Yeah. yeah, slice in. So look at every design follows that slice, which is okay. But I was trying to do a different slice, and I wanted, uh, originally, a lightning bolt down the side of this thing. We're just talking about, 
you know, my car and how great a job they did and stuff like that. And we kind of like, me and Les, we came up with the idea. And well, not really the idea, it's just kind of happened how the car got wrapped. Like, we're literally giving, like, saying, like, it's okay to, like, have stuff that lights up. Like, I know a lot of people are not, not I'm not going to say a lot of people, not people that follow me, no one say anything, but people in their head can think, like, oh, it lights up all the time, that's gay, it's JDM, that's blah, blah, who cares, man, because it looks fly as hell. Like, literally, we want to set, the, like, we want to set a bar, like, a different bar. Like, we don't want to have just, like, pin stripes or we don't have, like, want to have stripes. Like, every car has stripes. That's why I changed the Army Green of my car because everyone had Army Green. Hondas, van, i seen vans, Jeeps. Um, SUVs, I seen a whole bunch of cars and just everyone had it. I felt like everyone seen Army Green so much, my car would just become an obsolete and I had to do something new. So I decided when I saw the Luma Glow and they talked to me about it and they said what it does and they said how it works, I was like, you know what? F it. Let's go with it. Let's do some different. You know, let's put, you know, here's a line right here. And just, let's cross it just a little bit. You know, we crossed that line and it came out amazing. And that's why I make these vlogs. That's why I do these videos. That's why I do stuff that's crazy. Big diffusers, um, front splitters, rear diffusers, a crazy color. Like, I definitely just do stuff for me. Like, I do the build for myself. And that's what you guys should be doing. Whether it be a car or a bike or shirt design or whatever it is you're doing, just do it for yourself. Don't worry about the, uh, the okay from other people because look what happened to me I was a little nervous and I'm over here you know it's easier said than done and I oh, totally understand that because I was the same way I didn't know how it was gonna come out I didn't know what it was gonna look like and I was so nervous to post like that first picture on Instagram and I was so nervous thinking about the next person's um you know how they felt how they were what they were gonna say and when I posted it, it ended up being great people loved it nothing but good feedback some people don't like the rims on there it was a little too much for me, but it's starting to grow on me, and I'm going to keep it on right now because they took their time and designed this and cut it, cut out the pieces and wrapped it, and it came out amazing. Nothing but positive feedback at HIN. So this, I want to go on a little, you know, just a little talk real quick, and I'm going to continue on the vlog. Do what you want to do. Don't let other people stop you. Don't let other people get in your way. Don't be worried about what the person's going to say because at the end of the day, if you're happy, that's all that matters, and that's why we do what we do. That's why I bought my Camaro. I didn't buy a charger. Everyone wanted me to get a charger, but I didn't want one. So you to do what you want to do and at the end of the day all that matters if you like it shout out to that diet starting in tomorrow <laughs> yeah, dude every time i hang out with you guys the diet goes out the window i swear like i really need like skinny anorexic friends or something like it's too I'm afraid of every day yeah I, well no he eats a lot too <laughs> he's worse than us oh my gosh anyway so yo check it so good i don't know why i said yo check it like i was about to start freestyling no here put big pals in there is there a car coming so um anyways we're gonna work on a contract right now and Pretty much I'm gonna be, you know, working for 420 Raps when I have time, because you know I still work, you know, full time at Vaporscape. But I think it's gonna be good because I support their product and like I was saying, do what you wanna do. So I'm excited. He's working on the contract right now because of course nothing is nothing to me, nothing is legit unless it has a contract. Because then not saying he would screw me over or anything, but you know it could happen. Anyone could do it. I could screw him over, he could screw me over. It's people are people and it's that's it. Just added so, security. Yeah, just added security. It's not really a trust thing, it's just more of I'm watching my back and you're watching your back type thing. That's how business goes. So and people always wonder and ask me how I get sponsorships and, and all this stuff. And you're um you're literally living it right now. This is how I do it. This is I meet with them, I talk with them, I tell them why I do this, why I make my videos, why I build my car, what I'm gonna do to my car next. Like it's like all these things, and they get to know me, not only my car, because they see my car, people see my car, but they get to know me as a person and they realize like hmm, this guy could be good for the team or this guy could be good with our product. And because every time you go for a sponsorship, you I like that. That's every time you just gonna you just gonna talk to one, just right? I'm just, oh, we're oh, we're trying to vlog. Every time you go in to talk to one for a sponsorship or for a little discount, stuff like that, dude, they gotta make sure that you're fitted for the product. Like you don't want. They probably look on. I know they look on your Instagram page to make sure you're not full of drama and all this, all this different stuff. So you're not when you're going for a sponsorship, you're not just going to sell your car. You're selling yourself and how you present yourself is how they're gonna look at you. All right. Well, I'm gonna go eat. I'm hungry and I'll continue when we're done. I'm not gonna vlog while we're eating because we're gonna talk and I don't know if we could I could record everything. It's just gonna be pizza. I don't think you guys want to see pizza. Right, hey, what's up, guys? Obviously, a new day. We had a great meeting. Great talk with 420. Some big things coming. I can't wait to tell you guys. And I'll sit down and talk to you guys a little bit more. But today, I'm actually going to take my grandma to the casino for a couple days. I just want to get out of Orange County for a little bit. And I love playing blackjack. So, right now, I'm going to cut to my GoPro, a little scenic view. Going up to, um, we're going to Morongo. We're heading up to, to Palm Springs. So we're going to go to Morongo. And then I'll just start vlogging again once I get to the casino. And hopefully, become a millionaire or something. I don't know. Hopefully, I, uh, I love playing blackjack. So, I'll probably sit at tables for hours. And I no, I can't record, but I'll try to put a little of the clips here and there, you know, of us playing. Uh, 
I would just stop right now to get gas before we take off the road. I actually need to stop at Vintage Vape. Uh, I just picked up a new R Rulo, and I also picked up a TFT uh, TFVA. I don't know if you guys are vaping vapors, but if you guys are vapors, you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of the new pieces came out, and I really need setup because my setup has not been working for the last like four days, and I've been like trying to fight it to work, and I just haven't bought it. And at Vape Escape, we had, we don't have what I want, so just thought I'd go and support the local uh, vape store. It's so hot out here. Oh my gosh, I can't even like believe how hot it is. Like, it's not like, it's not even necessary to be this hot. But anyways, all right, I'm stop ranting and let's get moving. Cause I'm trying to go place a blackjack though. Never gave a fuck about what the teacher say cause either way i'm a just to me and she said me too i say see who play walking out the club with me and tmz is out here ain't no secret say all right guys so we just got to moronga right now and every time i come to tina i always like play the blazing sevens to me it's just good luck i'm gonna play it like 20 bucks i'm gonna head up to room chill i'm kind of tired because i didn't stop doing uber and left till like six in the morning so i'm gonna stop recording for like kick me out or something Yo, what's up guys? All right, so I made it back to the room. Yo, today is not, to not, not, today is not, not my day. I just lost my off. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm not even gonna talk about it right now. So, I did post up on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, go ahead, description below. All my links, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. Obviously, don't need my YouTube because you're on my YouTube. So, I did post up some Q&As, and I'm about to answer them all right now, and then I'm about to finish the vlog, because I got some food waiting for me, though. That was whack. That was stupid. All right, anyways. So, I'm just going to read them down list. You guys know who asked them, because obviously, if you're on my Instagram, you'll find out who asked them. And I don't really know if anyone really needs a shout-out or anything, but, um, <clears throat> anyways. Let's get this going, though. All right, so I'm going to start reading off these uh, questions that I asked on my Instagram. All right, so let's see. I didn't ask them. I asked you guys to ask me questions on my, you know, you would think after all these vlogs, I would be better at talking to the camera, but no, I'm not. Anyways, let's get this going. I'm getting a little sick. All right, guys, so I'm about to start off on the first one, and the first one is, have you ever anticipated a loss but ended up winning? What car were you racing? So back when I had my V6, I raced someone in an RT. It was stock. I just had, like, on my V6, I had, like, a tune and exhaust and change of gearings that was pretty much it and ended up being an rt so that was pretty dope um i'm not gonna say that i i would win every single time he could have missed a gear i don't know what could have happened but i know i took the w on that one and i was super stoked but no 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 i did not go out and say oh my car beats v8 da, da. everyone has a lucky day i feel that was my lucky day just common sense so if you do be if you do drive a v6 and you do beat a v8 and you know it's, it's a rare occasion don't go and be like oh va killer haha ha. it's it just doesn't it's not a good look i have v6 i had a v6 at the time just know what you drive and don't be that guy all right so next one what's it like being so cool <sighs> it's amazing it's i'm just keen i don't think i'm that cool i really don't think i'm that cool i'm just someone that feels myself in my life and what I do and then I hope to God people out there just don't call me fat. Next one, when are we going to go have lemonades and barbecue again? Yo, so the reason why he asked when we have lemonades and barbecue is we went to Korean barbecue and yo, their lemonade was so good. Like, I'm talking about like so good, like, God, bomb. That I just, I literally probably had like seven or eight cups of lemonade. Yo, shout out to the reason why I'm so fat probably because I just drank like a million calories. So the next question is, why Frost White? Just wanted a clean look with a little flare or would you even wrap your marrow again? If so, what color? Um, Frost White is because I love Chevy's White. Chevy's White to me is actually the best white out there. Personal opinion, don't go and hate me on the comments section. Personal opinion, I think Chevy has the best white. And would I wrap my car again? Yes, I would wrap my car again. Duh. Someone said I burp a lot on my videos. I'm sorry, it just happens. Would you rather go FL on your 1LE or get a C7? I don't know what FL means. Fat lungs? Future low life. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Or F uh, go F one on your one Ali. I don't know. I really don't know what that means. Sorry, man. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm. You're probably gonna comment what it meant. I'm feel like a complete idiot. So, or maybe I'm just that big of a noob. I don't know. But just uh, clarified. I, I sometimes I'm just not the smartest person in the world. What piece of advice would you give others who are starting off their build? Yo, just start it off, man. Do what you need to do. Save up that money. Don't go broke doing it. Um, you know, start off small, colder intake, you know, rims, tires, 
um, suspension if you want to go track or drag you pick um, just just start it man just just worry about it's so funny you asked me this question in the same vlog I was just talking about do what you want to do do what makes you happy if you want a track car build a track car if you want a drag car build a drag car if you want a show car build a show car I mean build what's gonna make you happy because nothing's better than waking up or even you know waking up in the morning going to your garage and open it and seeing the car that that's a car that you drive like you know how happy I am when I get in my car every single time I get in my car it's like I'm it's like my first time driving it and that's a feeling I want everyone to feel and everyone should feel be happy and proud of the car that you drive because I can't afford Lamborghini but some of my friends can I can't afford GTR but some of these people can I'm happy with the car I'm in whether it been my Camaro or Honda Civic or whatever at that time or whatever I could afford so be be happy start your build and kill it man definitely just kill it and keep me updated on your build man I'm actually really curious if you haven't started your build yet man keep me updated send me DMs shoot me some pictures I, I love to see them before and after so you know what I mean because my cars came a long way too and it just didn't just happen overnight it did not happen overnight it took time and that's pretty much it it's gonna take time and a lot of money a lot of money when are we gonna go shooting? Yo, um, hit me up, man. We're supposed to go shooting like a long time ago. So hit me up and we can go shooting. I definitely haven't shot my gun like a month, my guns in like a month, so we need to go. And I ain't talking about these guns. Oh shit, I got there ain't guns there in it. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> uh let's see. When you bring your car out here, yo, tank man, let me know when there's a big car meet. You do live like a million miles away from me, but I'm willing to take a drive because I did go up to Oxnard to go see Papa Jay. So I definitely could take that drive for you. Hit me up, let me know when there's a big meet. And um we get this planned out. Let's get this going. When you're racing Leo, I don't personally know who Leo is. Um, I did see all over Instagram, like, rest in peace, Leo. Um, I don't know who this Leo guy is, but shout out to Leo and rest in peace, man. I don't know who you were, but um, I'm real sympathetic about his death. I heard he was killed off by me. <laughs> When are you going to stop lying and admit the <laughs> you love my Mustang? Rad Rob, your Mustang is amazing and it is fast. I've heard nothing but positive about you. Rad Rob you is, Rad, if you guys don't know Rad Rob, he's the one with the highlighter, friggin' black Mustang. Cool guy, really down to earth, and definitely helped me a lot with my build and who I should go to and stuff like that. He's actually going to help me with the powder coating for my, my new rims. So, Rad Rob, you have my favorite Mustang in the car, and I do love your Mustang. Your Mustangs fly. Mustang. I almost said must. Yeah, never mind. I almost said must gay. Cause I always say must gay just because I have friends drive Mustangs. But whatever. You guys want to hear about that? When is your grandma gonna make some bomb ass chicken again? Yo, Stephanie. She'll make it soon. Stephanie is like a neighborhood friend I've known forever. Like since we're in diapers, uh, we go way back. Hog ball like day ones. Like that's definitely like a day one. Henry, when are you going to make a music video? Oh, when are me and Leo gonna make a music video? Yo. We, got, me and Leo need to link up. I mean, I think we've had enough beef on Instagram where I think we should make a music video. I love his music video. Like it was so cute, like with the fire, like pff, fire there, and then like he had like a cool, cute gun in his back. It was so cute. Like I love the video so much. Like it made me feel like, man, this is what I want to grow to be like. This is a car enthusiast, a nice little tank top, like little muscle showing, and the fire in my hands, like. Duh, who doesn't want to make a cool fire video like that? Shout out to Gay Ashley. I mean, shout out to freaking Leo, man. It was amazing. How much money do you have into your car? <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, a lot. really don't know the exact price on that. I wish I could tell you. I wish I had it saved. But, I mean, it's a lot of money. A little bit of money to some people that are rich. But to me, it's a lot of money. I put a lot of money into my time. I, mean, a lot, I put a lot of time and money in my car. So I'm going to read off the last of the um, questions that I have on my Instagram. My screenshot, these ones I posted up a while ago and I deleted it. I posted it up twice to try to get like more people to see it so they get asked questions. So anyways, would you ever come to caffeine and octane i believe it is and would you ever do a meetup in the east coast i definitely would love to come to the east coast it is a very that's a very 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 long drive for me um but let's set it up i mean if, we, if, if our times work out our schedule work out and it's like a big event i'd have no problem taking a flight or a drive out there to go see i don't know if i could personally bring my car but i know i could personally bring myself and vlog and, and get to meet some people that watch my channel and all that cool stuff so yeah man shout, um he actually dm me too we talked a little bit he's a really cool guy he's a really big fan he definitely supports me and i really appreciate that when am i coming to fun uh when am i coming to fontana Oh, when you come into Fontana, I'm open this weekend. Uh, that was five days ago, so I'm assuming that's this weekend coming up. And this weekend, I'm definitely working all weekend. I'm working like a peasant right now because I got to pay for the flooring for the house. But um, I do want to go to Fontana once my turbo's on. So let's uh, let's plan a date for that. Let's, let's definitely do that. 
Do I miss JD Automotives? Yes, I miss JD Automotives, man. That guy's in college right now. Shout out to you. I see you doing a little paintball thing. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to come back to uh, California. I don't know if you even left California, but it doesn't look like you're around here. Why don't I want to race Leo from Head Turners? No one said I don't want to race Leo from Head Turners. I'm actually able to told him that I want to race him because he talks so much trash, but his car's always sitting in the garage and always breaking down when he takes it out. So, I don't know. Whenever we have a race, we need to bring a tow truck. So, I mean, his car breaks down. But, hey, I'm not hating on Z06. And let me just make this clear right now. I'm not hating on Z06. That is a fast car. It is a badass car. I just don't personally like Leo's Z06. I don't like Leo. So, it's nothing against Z06. If you're reading this, yeah, is a Z06 faster than my car? Common sense. It's faster than my car but I don't like Leo so once I get my turbo in my goal would be to smash on a Z06 whether it because he freaking missed a gear if he's even on a ma manual I think he might be automatic he seems like an automatic type of person and, or if he freaking spins out I don't care I just want to beat him that's it so I'm not hating on Z06 so don't take this the wrong way it's just me and Leo because I have plenty of people on my Instagram that have Z06s I like, comment and like them I just don't like Leo that's it what exhaust are you gonna run with with your turbo setup you know what I'm not 100% sure what exhaust I'm going to be running my turbo. Right now, I just have the basic, you know, straight pipe. That's like what everyone else does. But I do want to get a full exhaust system. So if you guys know of any good exhaust systems, comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Because I really don't know which one I'm going to go with yet. I'll hit up a couple of my Camaro buddies like uh, SS Chris or Hugo or um, Re uh, Rob and see what they're running and see what they think will be the best. But personally, at this time, I really don't know. All right, guys. So I'm about to wrap up this vlog right now. hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm about to get my ass back at the casino, hopefully with some money, because I, I'm, I'm about, honestly, you might not see another vlog up, because I might sell my camera and my laptop and everything, because your boy's broke. No, it's, it's not that bad, but if you guys did, did enjoy this video, feel free to hit that like button. Thank you for staying to the end. If you stayed to the end, comment down below, 1LE, so I know who stayed to the end. I really appreciate it, guys. We are over 600 subscribers, over 40,000 views, and we are just killing it, and we're going to keep going. You guys are amazing. It's all because of you that I keep having motivation to make these videos in, in different topics to talk about you guys are really the ones that give me the content to talk about because it's stuff that goes on on my Instagram that I read or my Twitter or my Facebook so you guys are amazing I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you guys stay along for the journey and that's pretty much it feel free to hit that like button smash that like button all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I will see you guys back again on Monday have a great week and I'm out